Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Here's your daily news report and fourth stimulus check update. So many of you have been asking, when will a fourth stimulus relief bill be passed? And who will qualify for a fourth stimulus payment? So in today's video, I will be answering your stimulus check and social security questions. Everyone, thank you so much for being here today. In a video later this evening, I will announce the winner of this week's $75 Amazon gift card giveaway. You can still enter the giveaway. All you need to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and also leave a comment below. Thank you so much, everyone. For millions of Americans who received the recent $1,400 third stimulus check, the money has been cashed and spent. But that is definitely not going to be the last stimulus relief payment. Great momentum is building in the Congress towards a fourth stimulus check and even a fifth stimulus check. Yahoo Money says maybe even more after that. A large growing number of lawmakers in Congress have come out in support of a plan that would provide additional cash throughout this year to help struggling households pay for groceries and other essentials and to avoid falling into poverty. A huge amount of Americans right now have been living paycheck to paycheck or even worse on credit and are looking for ways to stay current on bills and pay off high interest debt. A new pitch for additional stimulus payments has been made to President Biden in a letter signed by seven members of the influential House Ways and Means Committee. Long considered the most powerful panel in Congress, the House Ways and Means Committee is responsible for writing tax laws and essentially controlling the government's purse strings. The letter urges President Biden to include direct stimulus payments in his proposed $1.8 trillion American Families Plan, which Joe Biden unveiled in late April. We have multiple lawmakers that say the last $1,400 stimulus check was not enough to get households through the year. The signers argue that a fourth and fifth stimulus check could keep an additional 12 million people out of poverty. I myself strongly support another round of stimulus payments for Americans. Please everyone, leave your thoughts on this in the comment section below. The letter that was sent to President Biden said, the crisis has served as a stark reminder that families and workers need certainty in a crisis. They deserve to know that they can put food on the table and keep a roof over their heads. In a census survey, most people who gave an answer said they spent their third stimulus checks on food, rent, mortgage payments, utilities, or paid down some debt. Even before the $1.9 trillion American Rescue Plan was passed back in March, Democratic lawmakers were calling for stimulus payments that would last as long as a crisis endures. Minnesota Congresswoman Ilhan Omar wrote President Biden in a January letter that was signed by 55 of her colleagues. Ilhan Omar wrote, The American people are counting on us to deliver transformative change, and we need to meet the moment by delivering monthly payments of $2,000. Back on March 21st, Senate Democrats called on President Biden to back recurring direct payments for the duration of this crisis. Calls from the public have grown louder as well. A change.org petition pleading for Congress to provide $2,000 payments for adults and $1,000 payments for children, and to continue regular checks for duration of this crisis has now been signed by more than 2.2 million people across the nation. Lawmakers often respond to public pressure. Before the third stimulus relief package was passed, in order to keep some lawmakers in the fold, Democratic leaders agreed to target those payments away from households with higher incomes. This means that it is possible that not everyone who received a $1,400 third stimulus check will receive a fourth stimulus payment. However, if you do receive SSI, SSDI, RRB, VA, or survivor's benefits, it is very likely that you will be eligible to receive a fourth stimulus check. But overall, the details have not yet been finalized. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has expressed hope that Congress would pass President Biden's $2. trillion infrastructure proposal ahead of the August recess. During a press conference, Speaker Nancy Pelosi stated, I would hope that our part in the House would be largely done before the 4th of July. Whether the whole package can be done then, we just don't know. But as some had suggested, we want to do it before the August break. 
A large number of lawmakers want a fourth stimulus check to be included into Joe Biden's American Families Plan. This means we could see a fourth stimulus payment in our bank accounts sometime in September. While Nancy Pelosi said she wanted the package to pass on a bipartisan basis, Pelosi did acknowledge that Congress may have to use a budget reconciliation to approve the legislation, which allows bills to pass in the Senate with a simple majority. Most legislation requires 60 votes to advance in the Senate and Democrats hold a narrow 50-seat majority. This means that they would need support from 10 Republicans in order to bring bills to the Senate floor for a vote, which is an unlikely scenario. A scheduling question here. There had been an expectation that there was going to be a conversation of some kind today between Republicans on the Hill, some officials here at the White House mm -hmm. about the status of infrastructure and Republican counterproposal. Is that meeting still happening today? And can you give us kind of an update on where things stand uh, and any movement that, that may or may not be happening? Sure, um, it is happening. It may be ongoing as we speak, but it started shortly before uh, 1 o'clock over video conference this afternoon. Uh, our team, including Steve Reschetti, Louisa Terrell, Brian Deese, Secretary Raimondo, and Secretary Buttigieg, put forward a reasonable counteroffer. Uh, that reduces the size of the package from 2.25 trillion in additional investment to 1.7 trillion. And in our view, this is the act, uh, the art, I should say, of seeking common ground. This proposal exhibits a willingness to come down in size, giving on some areas uh, that are important to the president, otherwise they wouldn't have been in the proposal, while also staying firm in areas that are most vital to rebuilding our infrastructure and industries of the future, making our workforce and our country more competitive with China. We actually have every intention to share the complete uh, totality of the counterproposal with you all. We'll just wait for the meeting to conclude to do that. Until then, can you say any more about what was taken out to, to lower that, that price tag? Sure. Let me give you kind of some top line details. And then again, what the counter proposal that we'll put out is very detailed, so you'll see all the specifics for yourself. But uh, again, I noted the top line number that was offered. Uh, it, our proposal also involved uh, a shifting, uh, in shifting investments in research and development, supply chains, manufacturing, and small business out of the negotiation into other efforts, such as the Endless Frontiers Act and the CHIPS Act, which, as you know, there's ongoing discussions and negotiations on a bipartisan level about those as well. Uh, the, president, the proposal also agreed to reduce the funding request for broadband to match the Republican offer and to reduce the proposed investment in roads, bridges, and major projects to come closer to the number proposed by the senators. This is all in the spirit of finding common ground. Now, at the same time, as I alluded to, we also, the counter offer also reflects our view that the Republican offer excludes entirely some proposals that are key to our competitiveness, uh, key to investments in clean energy and in, in industries of the future and rebuilding our workforce, including critical investments in our power sector, building and construction. Later on this evening, I will be giving away another $75 Amazon gift card. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like and share this video, and also comment below. Thank you so much, everyone, and have a very, very blessed Friday.